Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna share a few tips and tricks with you on how to get great images of clouds. And the best thing is, you don't even have to go anywhere special. You can take them from your balcony, your yard or even your window. And all you need is a long lens, something around 100 or more millimeters. When you look into the sky, there often will be a lot of very cool clouds. The only problem is they're not covering the whole sky, they only cover a very small portion of the sky, so that's why you need the long lens for. And if you don't have any grey clouds or any clouds at all right now, just check the sky again in a few hours or tomorrow and I'm sure you'll find some amazing clouds at some time. So if you have a long lens and you have some amazing clouds on your sky, just take a picture of it and you're gonna end up with something like this. Be sure to shoot in RAW because the editing we're gonna do here will be quite heavy and as you surely seen before in my other pictures, you will know that I really like black and white clouds. That is just because I find them to look even more dramatic and give more of a punch. But of course, if you would like to edit those in color, you could do that as well. So what I'm gonna show you here is just a very quick edit in black and white on how you can turn your raw file into something like you've seen before. So first thing you wanna do is just add a lot of contrast, I would suggest, all the way. Then bring down the blacks, make sure you don't do this all the way, because that most likely will be too much. Then you want to raise the shadows and the whites as well, just so we have even more dynamic and more contrast between light and dark. Then the highlight slider, you can play around with the highlight slider and just choose whatever looks best to you. I think I'm gonna go with a plus 20 here. Then to clarity, I would suggest you to increase the clarity to give it even more of a dramatic look, just go with what looks best to you. Then down here at the tonal curve, the highlights gonna play around with those, but I don't think I'm gonna change them too much. Then the lights, let's see here, I think I'm gonna leave them at zero as well. The darks, I think I'm gonna go down with the darks a bit, something like that. Then the shadows, let's see, I think the shadows look quite well at about minus 50. And then the HSL tool, really nothing I want to worry about in black and white. If you would edit this in color, you could play around with these sliders, but you don't have to. I don't think I'm gonna add any split toning here. And to the detail tool. You don't actually want any sharpening, that will just introduce noise. As you can see, there is already a lot of noise in the picture, quite a lot actually. That is because we have made such a dramatic adjustment. You could leave the noise there if you would want to, it kinda gives it more of a nostalgic feel. But personally, I think I'm gonna introduce some noise reduction here and 50 already works pretty well. Then lens corrections, they don't really matter too much for this kind of image, so I'm just gonna leave them out. Effects, I think I'm gonna add some veneering, not too much however, something like that works pretty well. And then the camera calibration, you could play around with profiles or sliders, but for black and white, they just won't have that much of an impact on your image. And we're already pretty much done with the basic adjustment. You could do as much detail adjustment as you wish. But for this video, I'm not gonna do that. Let's see what it will look like in color. So you can see it's way oversaturated. But something like this doesn't really look all that bad either. So again, if you would like to edit the picture in black and white or in color, it's entirely up to you. So we've turned something like this into something like this, which really is a dramatic difference and I think the picture looks quite well, especially if you consider how easy it is to take. You just have to go to window and in a minute you have the picture. Thank you very much for watching. As you will know if you have seen any of my previous videos, I like to make in-depth tutorials, but this really is just an idea I want to share with you about a super simple photo opportunity which can result into quite nice pictures. 
Thank you very much for watching, leave me a like if you liked it. If you would like to see more in-depth videos and other photography and Lightroom stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I wish you an amazing day, take care.